I'm praying God come and turn this thing around. God turn it around. God turn it around. God turn it around. Hey guys, it is a new year and I know I am not the only one who has the resolution to read my Bible every day But looking more like Christ means to do more than only reading your Bible every day It's also prioritizing Jesus all throughout your day So these are my tips on how to prioritize God throughout your whole day 1 Corinthians 10 31 tells us to glorify God with everything that we do So that means every single thing that we do all throughout our day I know that it can be hard to remember God in every single thing that you do and to live a life in full pursuit of righteousness, but with these tips, I think that it will be a little easier to do so. My first tip is to spend time with God first thing in the morning. One of the hardest ones on the list because for me, whenever I wake up every day, I definitely don't always think Bible. I think my phone, whatever you start your day with will stick with you the entire day. If you start your day scrolling on your phone, then that's what's going to kind of be on your mind and you're not going to be your best self. Then you're not really setting yourself up for a very good day. If you start your day in God's word, hearing from him, worshiping, listening to worship music and Christian podcasts, all kinds of things. I know for me, after I start my day, reading my Bible, listening to worship music and really actually spending time with God before doing other things, I have a way better day because I already have way more peace. I have a lot more joy. I feel less tempted to get angry easily and it really just like affects my mood, honestly. And then I also, it's more on my heart to sin less also. The second thing is to be intentional with your time with God. I know the first thing that I said was to read your Bible first thing in the morning, but you don't necessarily have to read your Bible first thing in the morning as long as you have your focus on God, whether you're praying, listening to worship music, or listening to a Christian podcast or whatever you do to focus only on God, that is a great thing to do. But the second thing is be intentional with the time with God. You don't have to read your Bible first thing in the morning. You can read it in the middle of the day, at night, just whenever works best for you, but be intentional with it. Don't let reading your Bible and spending time with God be something that you just like check off the list. Make it be something that you actually don't just stick into your day, but build your whole day around that. Let it transform you. Pray more than just before meals. Pray, come to God with everything you're thankful for, everything that's troubling you. Just give it all to him because he will take away any burdens. One thing that I do to really be more intentional about my time with God is prayer journaling. I have definitely talked about this before on my channel, but I'm gonna share a little bit more about it now. So I have this specific notebook that my friend actually got me for Christmas. At the beginning of each month, I turn to a random page and put the month and then write out different things that I have going on in my life or that people around me have going on in their life. Whenever I come to God in prayer, instead of just saying whatever comes to my mind at the moment, I actually take the time to really have a deep conversation with God and share with him what's going on in my heart, in my life, and all the people around me also. I've noticed that whenever I read the prayer request out of my prayer journal versus when I just think of whatever prayer requests come up on the spot, my prayers are a lot longer. Not that that means they're better, but they're longer and I feel a deeper connection with God because I'm putting a lot more time, thought, and effort into spending time with him. The third thing is act like Jesus. As a Christian, it is really important to transform your life to look more like Jesus. Act like him, love like him, be patient and kind, shine your light everywhere you go. I want people to see me and not think, oh wow, Ellen's so sweet. I want them to be like, wow, Jesus is really working in her life. I can feel God's effect on my life because of the way that Ellen treats me. I'm not wanting glory to myself. I just want people to know that I love God. I want to love others the way that God loves them too. People deserve to feel loved, even if you don't like them. Just treat them the way that Jesus would treat them. 
what would Jesus do, you know? It is a constant prayer for me to really be able to control things like anger and pride and jealousy and be able to, you know, be a more humble person and kind in hard times that I really want to like say rude things, but that's not how Jesus is. So I want to react in more of a godly way to everyday events like that. If I can do it, you can do it. The fourth thing is to avoid things that bring you down spiritually and instead spend more time with things that uplift you. For example, the songs you listen to, the movies you watch, the shows you watch, the people you, you surround yourself with, and maybe like events that you participate in. If it is making you think more about yourself or other people or sin, that's bringing you away from God. But if it's instead helping you remember how good God is and thank Him and praise Him and He's really a big part of it, those are things that uplift you. A good way to tell if a friendship or relationship is really good for your relationship with God is do you feel more connected with God because of that person? Do you love God more because of that person? Do you want to serve God more because of that person? If you surround yourself with really great people that love God, they will uplift you and then you guys can together bring glory to God. But if you surround yourself with people who do not love God or people that are not positively benefiting your relationship, then I think it is a good idea to limit those specific connections so that you can prioritize God and even your friendships and relationships. The fifth and last thing that I'm going to be talking about is accountability partners. Um, you may or may not have had a person like this in your life, but basically an accountability partner is someone, a Christian, who you can be honest with. You can share your struggles and your sins and prayer requests to each other. You can pray for each other, with each other, and really just be there to help each other grow closer to God. I have some accountability partners that will text each other and make sure that we're reading our Bibles every day or I can read my Bibles with those people. For me, it's my family and friends and just different people that I go to church with. I think that it is really important to also be involved in your church, whether that's in a D group or just going on Wednesday nights or Sundays, just whatever you can do to really get yourself in those communities because that will do nothing but positively benefit your relationship with God. Prioritizing God comes whenever you're with other people who are also doing the same thing. Those are all of the things I had together for this video, so I really hope you enjoyed it. There are more things you can do to look more like God and keep Him as the number one thing in your life, but just remember, don't stick Him somewhere at random in your life, but build your whole life around Him. As a Christian, we are supposed to, every single day, strive to become more and more like God and say goodbye to the old sins, but of course, we are going to struggle. But if we surround ourselves with positive influences and if we do more intentional things to keep Him as the center of our life, our hearts will be filled with Him and the rest of our lives will also. Jesus loves you so much. I hope you have a great day and I really hope that this video helped you to find some more ways to prioritize God in your life. If you have any more questions or any other ideas, definitely feel free to comment them down below. Have a great day. Bye.